The Mystery of the Blue Egg Gary Goose was very nervous. He had never been a babysitter before. Gary Goose was going to be the father of three baby geese. He was watching the eggs while Greta Goose went on an errand. He rubbed the rough shells of the brown eggs and noticed a blue egg in the nest. He rubbed this egg with his wing. It was very soft. He was sure all the eggs were supposed to be brown. Hello, Gary, said a familiar voice. It was Cindy Swan. She was wet because she had just been in the river swimming. Gary held up the blue egg for Cindy to see. Cindy Swan stared at the egg. Where did this egg come from? She asked. I don't know, Gary Goose said, but I'd like to find out. Then, Gary Goose had a good idea. Cindy Swan, would you stay with my eggs until I find out where this egg comes from? Sure, said Cindy Swan. Thank you, said Gary Goose. He waddled through the tall grass carrying the egg in his wing. The grass tickled as he passed through it. On the other side of the grass was an old rickety tree stump where Stanley Squirrel lived. Gary knocked on the tree and Stanley came out. Hello, Gary, Stanley said in his high-pitched voice. What can I do for you? Do you know what kind of egg this is? asked Gary Goose. Stanley looked real close at it. Nope, said Stanley Squirrel. We squirrels don't lay eggs. Let's ask Sammy Snake. Snakes lay eggs. So Gary Goose and Stanley Squirrel headed to the big rock Sammy Snake lived under. Gary Goose knocked on the rock with his wing. A big black snake slithered out from under the rock. Yes, asked Sammy Snake. We have a question, said Stanley Squirrel. Gary Goose held the egg up to Sammy Snake. Sammy, do you know what kind of egg this is? I sure don't, replied Sammy Snake. Go ask Oscar how he is smart. So Gary Goose and Stanley Squirrel went to the giant oak tree where Oscar Owl stayed. Oscar Owl was perched on a branch in a deep sleep. <laughs> Oscar! Oscar! shouted Gary Goose. Who is it? asked a sleepy Oscar Owl. Don't you know owls sleep during the day? Sorry to wake you, Oscar, said Gary Goose, but I need your help. Oscar Owl swooped down to the ground in front of them. What is it? he asked. Gary Goose held the egg out to Oscar and showed it to him. Do you know what kind of egg this is? Oscar Owl scratched his head. I've never seen anything like it. I'm sorry. I can't help you. Please. Let me go back to sleep. That's okay, said Gary Goose. He waved goodbye to Stanley Squirrel and Oscar Owl and waddled toward his own nest. Suddenly, Gary Goose heard someone crying in a tree branch high above him. It was Rita Robin. <laughs> my baby! Where is my little blue baby? She moaned. Gary Goose looked at the blue egg then up at a crying Rita. Here is your baby, Rita! Gary shouted. My baby! You found my baby! Rita Robin cried. She flew down to where Gary was. She took the egg from Gary Goose and cuddled it in her wing. I searched for this egg all morning, said Rita Robin. I gave up hope of finding it. I found it in my nest said Gary Goose. It must have fell out of the tree and rolled into my nest. 
Thank you very much, said Rita Robin. I'll name this little one after you when he hatches. Although Gary appreciated the gesture, somehow Gary Robin just didn't seem to fit. Gary Goose went home to his nest and told Greta Goose and Cindy Swan all about the mystery of the blue egg. The end.